to dry now, the green layer of paint, so I'm going to go in and try to sand off some on the edges and just um, try to make the uh, gray layer underneath show through a little bit more. and get the shop back because sanding this paint it gets everywhere <laughs> and I couldn't see what I was doing anymore so I vacuumed it off really quick and now I'm going to go in with a smaller grit sandpaper. just to get any pieces left over from being sanded and then I'm gonna do my final layer of wax and um, this time I brought up gloves and I probably should have worn gloves the first time but I've never used it before and so I didn't know what to expect but it's really smelly and I don't know if it's bad to get on your skin so I'm just gonna put gloves on anyway so here we go
guys. Um, it's a couple days after I finished this shelf and uh, my camera died whenever I was uh, making the last video so I uh, decided just to give it a couple of days. Um, but I finished the shelf and I uh, took the legs off and painted those as well. But I just wanted to give a little um, overview of how it turned out and show you what it looks like. I think the distressing turned out pretty well. And I put the wax on it. And I did put it in um, our guest room with the window open for a couple of days because um, the wax, it stinks. <laughs> it just kind of gives off some fumes so um, like whenever I was putting it on I had all the windows open and fan on and stuff like that and uh, it'd probably be good to just put the wax on outside but um, I just did it upstairs because it was a well ventilated area and um, the the chalk paint doesn't really smell like anything it doesn't really have much of a smell and it dries super fast and just never really like the the wax fumes stuck around for several days so like I tried to put it in here in my room uh, like a day or two after I had finished it and I woke up in the middle of the night and I just I could smell it and so I was afraid that I was, I, I didn't want to just be breathing fumes all night, so I moved it out of the room and uh, gave it like two more days. So it probably sat in there for like five days total. And uh, now I can't even smell it. And uh, I'm actually working on a dresser now. Um, I, I, I really hated my dresser and I've been wanting to get a new one and uh, here I can show it to you. So this is the dresser. I've been looking everywhere for a new dresser and I just couldn't, I couldn't find anything here that I wanted. I wanted it to be similar to this. It's just this one, some of the drawers are broken and as you can see it's missing a handle and it was really ugly. And so I just decided I don't have anything to lose, so I just decided to paint this. And I like it so much better now. Um, I mean, I probably won't keep it forever, but I do plan on replacing the handles and hopefully the, uh, what are the tracks underneath the drawers, at least on the ones that are broken. Because it's like this one, wobbles. I don't know why. <laughs> and uh, this drawer doesn't always open all the way. So you can see it's stuck like, okay, now it opens. I've been, I've been working on it a lot and trying to fix it, but it gets caught right there. And that one opens a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I, I painted this in the same style that I did the bookshelf and I just wanted to show you how the bookshelf turned out and uh, show you this this is my next project that I finished so <laughs> yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you um, make any or decide to paint any of your furniture in the style that I showed um, you should uh, tag me in social media of some sort I put all of my social medias in the uh, description so feel free to follow me or uh, tag me and stuff if you have your own chalk paint creations I'd love to see them so 
Thanks for watching. Bye.